guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing week. My name's Claire, if you're new here. Got my Sheffy whites on today and it says it on there. Um, I haven't really had a chance to do any vlogging this week. I've just had a lot going on in life and business. And as I've said in many of my previous videos, I feel like I'm always doing far too much and I don't really want to like force everything all the time and like put so much pressure on myself to like whip out videos just for the sake of it and really my Friday videos are just a mix of everything whatever I feel inspired to do or film so I thought I would share with you a little video that I actually did at the beginning of the year um, it's kind of a cake decorating tutorial I guess of a pineapple cake a vegan pineapple cake it's actually chocolate cake inside but I decorated it to look like a pineapple and I think it's so cute so I thought I'd show you um, so you can have a little go at home if you want or you can just enjoy watching the tutorial whatever the reason why I thought I'd share it this week is because I actually launched a competition on Instagram to win this cake and I'm going to announce a winner today so I'll probably be making it again very soon. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and yeah, that's all really. Thank you for watching. I'll see you at some point next week. I'll see you on Sunday, Spirituality Sundays. Um, but have a lovely weekend and yeah, see you soon. Okay, so here is my vegan chocolate cake, which as you can see, I've already filled and semi-coated with a layer of buttercream. I also chilled this down in the fridge for a while. I think I might have popped it in the freezer for about 10 minutes because I wanted it to be really firm before I got on with the next stage, which is piping all the way around the edge of the cake with more buttercream, which I've colored a nice yellow. I'm using a star-tipped nozzle. I can't quite remember which one it was because I'm not in a bakery right now, but any kind of smallish one will do. And obviously you're going to need a piping bag. I do have to have a lot of patience with this part because it does take a while, which is why I've speeded the video up so much. Also, excuse my wonky turntable which keeps turning whenever it wants and not when I ask it to. I keep saying that I need to buy myself a new one and then I forget. But it is my birthday coming up so maybe that could be a nice gift to myself. <laughs> so we're finally reaching the top now. Nearly there. And what I'll do now is take the cake off the turntable just so that it's the right height and I can finish the very top of the cake. Again, the same thing, just going round in a circle right until we meet the middle. Okay, now for the eyes and the mouth. I'm using some black fondant here, which I cut out. I think I used my piping nozzle because the circle size was perfect. And then I have two little circle cutters to complete the eyes with a white fondant for the cheeks. Again, same thing, slightly larger cutter, two little pink rosy cheeks. And finally the mouth. Again, just a piece of black fondant that I rolled out to the right size and I've just put that in place using my knife. It sticks because the buttercream is soft and slightly sticky. And for the pineapple head, if that's what you want to call it. I used a real pineapple here and I basically used like a wooden skewer which I put in to hold it in place and there we go. Super simple really and so so cute. I think this is possibly my favourite cake that I've ever made just because it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> so let me know if you have a go and remember Tag me in your photos. <laughs> Bye.